Welcome to Genuine Card guys. Today I'm going to show you how to take screenshot from your Java application. For that I'm going to create a new Java FX project. You can uh, use this in Java, normal Java Swing 2. In order to make things a little bit more simple, I'm going to make use of a Java FX application and I'm going for Java FX FXML application. Then next, let the name of my app will be uh, be Screen Recorder. So Screen Recorder is the name of my app. Then press finish. Now I got three files. Uh, fxml document dot fxml which is a user interface and a document controller and screen recorder dot java i'm going to open this fxml document uh, in scene builder so now my scene builder is ready i'm going to design the user interface for uh, our application for for that we need two things one button for uh, initiating the uh, action then one image view for displaying the image that we have taken using our application so for that I'm going to drag and drop the image view right here so this is the place where we display the image that we have captured and we need one button also so here I'm going to take a button from the library and I'm going to add it right here so now we got a button I'm going to change the text of the button to capture and that's it now we have to give a variable name for this image view in order to reference it from the program so I'm going to take it a uh, name it as display then when I press on this capture button I want to initiate the action so uh, I'm going to write the method name do take screenshot now the user interface design is completed I'm going back to my uh, NetBeans and by right clicking here and using the make controller the corresponding code or the variables will be generated in this file so now we got our display and this handle button action is a default code generated when we created this project so it is no longer needed and there is no label in our program so that's it when uh, I press on the button do take screenshot will be called so uh, here we have to write the code for uh, <clears throat> taking the image in order to take image you are going to use the robot class so robot class is present in the java.awt uh, awt package and that is the one that we have to use right now so robot robot equals new robot it throws an awt not found exception and i'm going to cache the awt exception and i'm going to cache the exception so surround statement with a try cache so we got a robot object using the robot dot create screen capture we can capture an image but before that we have to specify the area in which we have to take the screenshot in the uh, first case i want to take a screenshot of my entire screen the full screen screenshot for that i have to get the width or the dimension of my screen that can be taken into a rectangle object so rectangle rectangle equals new rectangle and I have to specify the bounds in order to get the bounds of your screen you can make use of toolkit from java.awt.package so toolkit dot get default toolkit dot get screen size will return is the size of your screen and a corresponding rectangle is now constructed all that we have to do is to uh, store the image taken from uh, to a buffered image object so buffered image <coughs> image equals now we are going to take the screenshot so robot dot create screen capture and we are passing the rectangle object now we have uh, now the screenshot is stored in the buffered image object one problem with the java fx is you can't display a buffered image directly instead you have to convert a buffered image into a java fx dot in uh, a java fx image object so for that i am going to create an object of image 
which is javafx.scene.image and I'm going to call it as my image and I have to convert this buffered image to this image class and that can be done using swing fx utils so swing fx utils dot from fx image so from fx image we are the <coughs> sorry it is not from fx image we are converting a buffered image into a uh, fx image so to fx image and we can give the buffered image here and here i am going to set it as none so none will do the trick now i got the image object all that i have to do now is to set this image into this image view and that can be done using display dot set image and my image so that's it now let us run the program i'm going to run it now i got the user interface i am going to click on this capture button and as you can see we got our screenshot and there are some tweaking that we can do suppose you don't want to take the end screen you just want a portion and in that case you can specify the bounds here suppose i want to take a screenshot of this much portion starting from the zero zero to this much portion so i will set it as zero zero which means this and i want to set the width and height suppose i want to take uh, image 600 width and 400 height then i can use something like this 600 and 400 now let us run the program again and, and I'm going to press on the capture button as you can see I got this much portion in my image view and the uh, next thing or the last thing that I want to do is to save the taken image you know to save the image you can make use of image IO class so image IO is available in the Java FX Java X dot image and package. So image IO dot write image can be used for writing an image. Here, the first parameter is the image that we want to uh, save. So it's a buffered image. Then we have to specify the format name. Here I am specifying JPEG image and I want to set the file output. So I'm going to write it into a file called out dot JPEG. I hope you got the point this is the image that we have to write and this is the format name which is nothing but jpeg and this is the file to which the uh, image will be written then <laughs> instead of awt exception i'm just going for exception and now things are okay i think now let's start the program again i'm going to press on this capture button so now it is displayed and there should be an image out.jpg in the project directory so i'm coming to the netbase projects and screen recorder and as you can see i got out.jpg right here so that's it guys that's how you take screenshot from your java application as always thank you for watching this video and like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos